Jeffrey. And as the world waits, the next step in the Michael Jackson child molestation case, a local author is talking about his book on the Jackson family and his work as a publicist for the Jackson family. Brian has moved over to our Studio B for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Brian? That's right, Janine. I am over here in Studio B right now with an author solely known as Phoenix, and he has been part of the Michael Jackson entourage for a, a long time, he even formed his own PR company uh, to represent the Jacksons. And uh, he has now wrote a book. It is called, simply, The Jacksons, and uh, Touched by the Jacksons. And welcome here to Phoenix. Good. Phoenix. How are you doing, Brian? Good. I'm doing fine. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. You have uh, gone through the life of Michael Jackson, and you've also talked about him being a star, coming, being the, the superstar he was with the Jackson 5. Exactly. and. Uh, in the 80s, but also some of the child molestation charges that came against him back mm. in the early 90s and what right. he's going through right now. Mm -hmm. But you still stand by him. Exactly. How is that? I mean, exactly, because let me tell you, on a day-to-day -day basis, I speak with the family. The allegations that's been brought against Michael Jackson, I feel that I'm going to continue supporting him just like his family because we feel that it is just um, a lie. We feel that this family pretty much may be out for revenge or perhaps one of this, uh, it could be a financial thing that they're going after. So any of the he allegations, is a target. exactly, because of the fame, the popularity, and also, I mean, come on, being the king of pop and number one entertainer in history, I mean, he's definitely going to be a target. Now, you've also, you've worked a lot with the Jacksons over here. Exactly. Years, and you know, you've got to really, really know Michael right. Jackson. Mm -hmm. But you've seen a lot of odd behavior, though, especially when he's dangling the baby over a balcony. And then there's uh, a lot of other things that come out. Mm -hmm. and where there's smoke, there's fire, it seems like. But... What is that really like, working with him, and what is he like as a person? Um, Michael, as a person, um, he is a sensitive uh, human being. He is a humanitarian, but to answer your question about the situation that happened when he was over in Europe with, the, with his child, I guess Michael got caught up in a whole midst of it. Um, Sometimes I feel the media blew it out of proportion. Michael, somehow or another, wanted to give back to his fans. He got excited during the moment, and he just wanted to share his love with the fans and share his children with the but fans. But don't you think that some of this behavior is a little odd, okay, disturbing? It's maybe to you or maybe to the public, maybe odd. Um, he's eccentric and maybe uh, witness come with eccentric, but I mean, that's Michael Jackson. You, can sh you can't show me a star that's not really pretty much into their own craft or their own belief or what their fantasy are, is perceived to be to themselves. Mm -hmm. So Michael just, Michael lives within that fantasy in his mind. but. To answer your question about him being strange and, and, uh, and, and weird, Michael's just as normal as me and you. If you happen to sit right here talking with him, I mean, he just, he's just like any other person. But he has a, he has a, a, a tremendous love for children, exactly. but so much to the point where they have sleepovers at Neverland Ranch. Doesn't that come across as a little odd? Um, yes, for a 45-year-old man, maybe to the public, maybe to you or someone else or anyone that happened to see that, but. Again, Michael haven't had a childhood. Ever since he was a child, along with his brothers, they've been busy. They've been, they didn't, they've been put into the spotlight. So that's a lot of pressure put on someone as a child that had the childhood stripped from them. Mm -hmm. So Michael having the children sleep over, Michael never once said he would be sleeping in the bed with the children or he would uh, uh, go to sleep in the bed with children. He would always give his room to the children. He would give his bed to the children. And Michael would sleep right there on the floor. Mm -hmm. Now, quickly, Phoenix, uh, how'd you get the name Phoenix? Um, I was born with that name. Um, it's a name that I used to be in a band. I used to sing and dance. And what happened was I met so many agents and managers, and somehow or another, you know, I just happened to have that name, and it yeah. became well, it, famous. Well, it, it stuck with you. But thank you exactly. uh, for coming here this morning and us, sharing with us about Michael Jackson definitely, and your definitely. book, Touched by a Jacksons. Right here. Uh, Janine? Okay.